In 1972, Contin, which is a controlled drug release system, was developed, and in 1984, its extended release formulation of morphine, MS Contin, was also released. This was a very effective drug, but the profitability waned after a generic substitute started to lower the market price rapidly. Purdue needed something new. This came in 1995 when the FDA was given for its extended release formulation of oxycodone, brand named Oxycontin, and this was officially launched in 1996. Oxycontin is an opioid, and opioids are a class of drugs naturally found in the opium poppy plant, and they work on the brain to produce a variety of effects, including the relief of pain. When taken orally, it has roughly one and a half times the effect of morphine. Now, the approval of Oxycontin is considered the point zero trigger for the current wave of opioid addiction and abuse that has swept America and other parts of the world and continues right up to the current day. To say that Purdue's sales efforts were aggressive is an understatement. Here, in one memo from the 25th of Jan 1999 to the sales team, reps are told their bonuses will be calculated in a way that makes the incentive for selling Oxycontin much, much greater than for selling MS Contin. Your priority is to sell, sell, sell Oxycontin, the memo said, pointing out the specific conditions to emphasize and sell for. It's concluded, finally, continue to highlight the advantages of Oxycontin, specifically for use in the elderly. 